Welcome back, guys. I'm still Stephanie Hunter from Hamilton, New Zealand, and this is still our beautiful Karen Crichton Far here. How are we doing, Karen? Yeah, we haven't changed our identities as yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with some more Q&A, some frequently asked questions. And this is the real doozer, actually. This is uh, I'm not... It's a really good one for people to know. Yeah, it is. Especially if you're just getting started, because it's easy to get fixated on, on things yeah. and to get a bit of, um, hung up on, on results. So the question is, what percentage target are you aiming to reach when treating people from a rectification point of view? Oh, that's an exciting question, because hmm. that makes so much sense. Sorry, I'm just going to do a treatment and see if I can. Can you hear that? No, no. I'm not sharing the screen. So. I'm just trying to do a treatment so that on this particular item, because I want to show the screen as the rectification. So, so when we're doing a treatment, every time we do a treatment, it comes up at the bottom of the screen, your percentage. Now, what I used to do when I first started was try and get the highest rectification I possibly could. And it was very exciting when I got up to 80 or 90%. And then I realized that aiming for those very high uh, rectification is not always a possibility. And it doesn't mean that if you don't get a high um, percentage that you're not doing good work. Hmm. It just means that you might need to do a little bit more. So. We were just discussing this off of the off of the um, the screen there, and um, oh sugar, sorry, it didn't come up with the rectification in it. So, um, so I can't show you. So, but the thing is, is don't get too hung up on the rectification and the percentages. But if you can get over forty five percent, then you're doing a hugely good job. Um, and sometimes you won't get that because mm. it might take a few more sessions with yourself or a client to reach a higher percentage. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. And please remember also, we're talking about treating a situation, a vibration that's presented in a vibrational form. So whether it be uh, endometriosis or not being able to sleep at night or stress and disorder issues or, or a headache or emotional balances and so forth. We're treating a disorder or a dis-ease in a system and to expect 100% rectification in two minutes flat or five minutes flat or even a 15-minute treatment mm. is a little bit, um, how do I say this nicely? And you can't really expect it every single time is what I'm trying to say. We've got to no. give our body a chance to not only to receive the treatment that we're doing. So we said this in a previous video before, give you do the treatment, step away from the system, allow the treatment to settle on the client that you've been treating. Give it your body chance a body chance to recalibrate and then do another reading down the track to see where it's happened after treatment and after it's, after it's taken on the information and recalibrate it. So you're yeah. not always going to get high rectifications. Now, that's also the reasons, well, this is my perception on this is Karen, this is from a from a non-jargon point of view. When you receive or when you're achieving a greater than 45%, I think it is, it comes up saying excellent result, because it is an excellent result. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's a freaking awesome result. Absolutely. In one treatment, you fixed just the issue by 45%. Yeah. That's better than any interest you're going to get in the bank nowadays, guys. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is if you think of it as... Um, as incremental so healing mm. is always incremental you you cannot heal eons of time in one session mm -hmm. you know i mean i'm um, 62 <clears throat> years young and if i expected to go into this and rectify everything that's happened in my life in a few sessions it's not realistic is it although you can feel good from it, oh. it just yeah, means... and, if, and this is actually taking me on to something else i'm sorry for cutting you off the camera this is something else i want to bring into, into, into this question now right now as well or it pops into my head is remember when you're treating self or others you're at this level after treatment you may be feeling or you may achieve this level so you're thinking i'm healed i'm fantastic i'm feeling wonderful because i'm better than i was before yes but your goal's here Always. Your clients will come back to you and say, I don't need your system anymore because I'm feeling so much better. 
good but you're still on the journey yeah yeah because when you're feeling like this low and you get to this point you think yeah ah wonderful i can't get much better but the goal is actually here yeah and remembering that it's like exercise you know this is we've talked about this before i think stephanie is where we using this wonderful technology that we have is actually helping us supporting us raising our frequency Mm -hmm. now if you raise your frequency you feel so much better you do but it's very very easy to go back if you don't keep up the training and it's the same with eating it's the same with everything is it's easy to backslide if you're not diligent with what you're doing i love it yeah so. Excellent. So we'll get into another video topic here, but we'll go, go back to the original question. What percentages are you aiming for? And what are the, what's, what's class as a good one? Any percentage is good because yeah. it's better than when you started. Absolutely. This makes sense. If yeah. you reach an excellent result, fantastic. I've, I've treated myself on something and I got a 98% rectification. Yeehaw! Can't tell you what it was. I forgot what it was already, but obviously my body was ready to let that go. Whatever it was, mm. my body, my being, my spirituality, my aura, what it was being treated was really on the point of letting that go. And it just had a slight block and the biofeedback machine removed that block and boom, it was gone. Fabulous. And I've had rectifications of 14%. Yeah. Okay. That's still 14% better than where I was when I first started. I'm going to go away, allow my body to accumulate to the new, new energy, new frequency, come back and do a reading later on to the same treatment and see what rectification I come at. Now, when you come back, you're setting, remember I said that, that stepping stone, so I've reached 14%. I started here, I reached 14%. When I come back, that's where my body's reading at. So I might only get another 3% rectification on the new me. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yeah. That's so really I'm good. On, because on the, on the beginning, that's where I was at that stage. And then I've in, incremental steps, as Karen said before. So any percentage is an improvement. Yeah. Any percentage. And it's just exciting to see that things are moving for you. And also on that note, is remembering do not just treat the physical body do not just treat the biofield don't just treat the emotional treat the whole doesn't mean to say you have to do every single setting in every single part but if you don't treat the emotional components and if you don't treat sure, the huh? spiritual components then you're not going to get an, a really good overview of a, a body treatment soul. Yeah, mind, body, and soul cannot be separated. No, absolutely not. So, just a love reminder. it. Love it. Wonderful. Thank you for that, Karen. It's a nice short video to answer a very good, very, very, very good question. And I very hope it's question. helped you. Any more questions? Pop them down below the video here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like and support. Subscribe to our video channel because there's got to be a lot more of these Q and A's, plus a lot more uh, training videos as well. Yeah. And if you've got any questions, either reach out, like I said, down below, or can reach out to us. There's multiple ways to contact us, and you know how to do it. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye.